Black people, these are the owners of BET. So none of us should be shocked about the condition that black music is in. Degrading our women and rapping about violence is the number one thing to do in our culture today, and it's only gotten worse over the years. So how do we go from black owned music that was soulful, that was uplifting, that was reflecting the heart and soul of our community in a positive way to this, to this? It's the same thing that destroyed the rest of our community, integration. Like I said before, everything used to be black owned, our hair products, our clothing, and yes, our music. As we know, Motown Records was founded by Barry Gordon and it was one of the most successful black owned businesses and influential independent record companies in American history. But just like almost all other black owned music companies, Barry Gordon sold his company to non-black people. And as we can see, if we're not the owners of anything we do, we can't control it. Other people are controlling the narrative for us. And so now that we don't control our own record labels, they push out the music and the agenda that they want us to see. The non-black owners of these record labels, whether you believe it or not, push out the agenda that they want black women to be seen as degrading, over-sexualized. They push out the images that they want of black men to be promoting violence. And how many of us know that these same record labels have agreements set up with the prisons in order to keep our men perpetually in the prison system and in coffins? And before y'all start, I am not saying that the reason that our community has violence and that our women are degraded is because of black music. I'm saying that black music perpetuates these harms and it keeps them going and it contributes to why our community is in this condition. So we can sit here and talk about it all day. But the real question is, what do we do about it? Black people, our influence and our culture is so powerful that we determine the society's culture. One of the biggest examples I like to use is how black people gave Popeyes $65 million in free advertisement. Look at this, y'all. The word of mouth and the power of black Twitter in less than a week, Popeyes doubled their marketing estimates and they had $65 million in ad value from us. There wasn't no mass organization from the black community. There wasn't a bunch of celebrities or black leaders or black politicians telling us to come out and promote Popeye's chicken sandwich and give them that much money in free advertisement. It was our culture. It was what we decided to make popular. It was what we decided to put our influence on. So if we decide to put our influence on black unity, black love, black independence, and promote black love through our music, through our culture, and black ownership, we would see a change overnight. We don't have to wait for anybody. We can just change the culture and what we decide to do. We can make black owned the new name brand. We can pull our talent and our resources and make everything black owned again. Now let's make the black national treasury as popular as we made that chicken sandwich.